This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Bro gang, we are joined by the Baron of the Bechdel Test, Lawrence Schlossman. He failed. I was going to say this whole podcast has failed from Rip. <laughs> and myself, the mayor of Mexico City, James Harris. Welcome to the weekly running of the boys, which today's full episode only available on Patreon.com slash throwing fits. Before we get into uh, little people wrestling, <laughs> GQ going Web 3, and Lawrence stressed about his tune. His tune check coming June. up later this week. Uh, let's <laughs> Big get into, tune. Let's get into a fit check. I thought you were going to go with Dr. Popcorn now that you're on Letterboxd, or did you not? Is that a lie? I haven't verified my email yet. <laughs> but you're joining. It's Dr. Taco Taco, yeah. Oh, if you want to see real movies, not fucking three meters of the condor or whatever. Fucking, oh, Robert Redford was stupendous in his black and white. Are they, are they, first of all, the movies in color, and are they measuring his penis in that yeah, title? Yeah. It's, three, it's nine feet long. <laughs> three meters of my condor. Three meters Me, of the cock putting door. The, putting the meat in meters. Um, yes, do, who is Dr. I wonder who Dr. Taco is. Some Someone asshole. stole your swag, ran off with your swag. Can I, can I like, can I like troll on his movie picks? Yeah. Can I like comment you on can, his shit? You can comment on everyone's uh, movie reviews. That's oh. it's a social media platform. It's I can't wait social, to not, social networking. I can't wait to not finest. follow you, bro. Uh, yeah, I was hoping you would take my my advice of going with Dr. Popcorn, you know, switch it up a little bit. But. I had already registered. Okay, well, well, <laughs> welcome to Letterboxd. This pod is brought to you by Letterboxd. Follow me on Be Real. That's the fucking best shit out bro, right stop now. Stop with that. Wait, is... Fuck out of here. Well, I guess the way that you feel about Letterbox is probably the way that I feel about Be Real. Which it's how is, you felt about TikTok. It's how you felt about fucking probably Instagram at one point. Anyway, early adopting is not my strong. No, <laughs> you're you <laughs> late adopter. You're like, I don't know about this whole Google Calendar thing. <laughs> well, I'm still not sold, dude. Yeah. I want a tactile, real planner. Oh, uh, is it really going to send me reminders five minutes before the phone call starts? Do I want that? I did straight up miss that call on Monday. That's fine. It's fine. We haven't heard back from the mates. All right, Lawrence. Let's get into a fit check. Drink check. Um, why don't you? Okay, what are we drinking? We just went and got some wine. What are we drinking? This, uh, is, this is a a it's a passionate wine via Revolucionaria from La C Grande 2021 Damn. Mendoza, Argentina. Mendoza is fire. I don't know if you've ever been to Argentina. I have or the Pampas. I just know that they're such a passionate people. Mendoza is at the foot of the Andes, where it um, mm-hmm. goes over into Chile, I believe. Mm-hmm. Maybe Peru, yeah, that sounds accurate. Um, it's fire. It's a great fucking resort town. It's all just like white people dreads, fucking chilling, drinking wine. You know, shooting the rapid, the rapidos. Yeah, we haven't had wine there. in a while, like on the pod together. It's been, yeah, it's been beers exclusively. Yeah. I need to. You drive me to the bottle. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, shit, dude. <laughs> Let's just get right to it. Um. I feel like you probably were only drinking wine when you were in Mexico. I'm th- I thought you might want a little switch up today. No, I had fucking Mexican sake. I had fucking what beers? Mas- what mus- beers did you drink in the motherland? Uh, ooh, Cerveza's motherland. Uh, a lot of Dos Equis. <laughs> Love those. This new this beer that I hadn't seen before. I hadn't seen up here called Charo. Okay, C H R C H A R O. What's Love the that. review? Big gas. Um, <laughs> just a crispy Victoria pills? Lager. Mwah. Okay. Oh, Victoria. And, yeah, can't and go mo- wrong. And Modelo, Modelo Special. Special. What? What was the Dos Equis? The most interesting man in the world. What was the slogan for the beer? I mean, I'd always drink beer, but when I do, it's Dos Equis. There right? it is. There it is. I might not always listen to podcasting. I never podcasts, listen to podcasts, but when I do, it's the only podcast that matters. We'll I talk got Mexico that. City post fit check post uh, b- yeah. behind the paywall. But um, okay, why don't you start us off, Jim? All right, I was wearing some Aralagache Camion Mules. Someone on the unwashed uneducated reddit so that these are ugly and i don't know if they know that they probably saw them like me wearing them like oh jimmy's wearing them probably ugly um i thought that was in reference to the um sauteed and flambe nature of the pair that someone was selling well they are painted on right so like they do they do flake over time it's like a margello sneaker of course right yeah um the reddit doesn't understand you need to have a big ass brain guys (laughs) like a big brain for gq's discord (laughs) Hello, friend. Um, what was yeah. the pre-mint on those? Huh? What was the pre-mint on oh, those? It's a win for the wallet drop. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. That's the joke, dude. We yeah. have no idea. So comfortable. Black. If you, 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 at this point, you already own some Camion boots. Get yourself some Camion mules. Absolutely. For the one, for the, for the spring, summer, fall. It's the perfect three-season mule, just like mm-hmm. the Camion boot is the perfect three-season boot. Um, Factoid. I'm wearing some big old shorts. 
from our guy, Angelo Urrutia, who's been posting this very emotional shit about the, uh, you know, being a father in post Uvalde world, which, yeah, huh, yeah, huh, bad. Can't relate. <laughs> um, yeah, I have the matching cardigan. I, I should, love these. Do you, this you is, want it? You want it? I feel like you've, you asked and I, I think was it's, like, I think eh. it's too big for me. No? It's a large. I'll take it's it. Definitely you, big. I mean, it might be too big, but would you ever wear a matching set? Not matchy matchy, but like I can only wear these short, like the cardigan again, three seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yo, so T. back when um, we were doing shit with seasons, they had a Comme des Gar no, a Prada hoodie that was all sequins. Sequins, yes. I fucking loved it. And like, see, like, come to Garcon does a lot of like sequin sparkly shit. And Those are the famous Frank Ocean on the cover of um, O32C. He's wearing mm. the glitter shorts. Great, great fucking cover. Yeah. When we went, when we got a Fashion Bros um, budget check, those were for sale at Barney's. Remember that? Bro, it's not even the same decade that these two things are. Sure. I'm almost, well, actually, no, you're probably right. Well, were they? Were you debating buying them? No, but they, I, like, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe these are the Frank shorts. Yeah. Uh, I think Noah Johnson calls those the most, the best shorts, like the most famous shorts sure. that ever existed. I don't know. Um, I love these. They're fucking huge, bro. They're like, like a nine inch inseam. Really? They're, they're not, maybe not a large inseam, but they're, I can see your knees down past. Well, cause I'm sitting, but I'm standing there past my knees. Also, I'm sagging a little bit as I'm wont to do. Uh, I feel like you, we're just wearing them upstairs and they're above your knee. Check. Hold on. I'm the fit to, check. I'm we need TF Almanac on this. Yeah, eh, I guess you're right. No, you're right. The point is. As much as we are five or die fucking try hard, die hard, right? Uh, hardos. Yeah. I think that this is the summer. This is my opinion. This is the summer that we are five inches are the mainstay, right? You better Cruising have your fucking arsenal of fivers lined up. You better have your Monday through Sundays. Um, but I personally am going to veer hard in either direction. Okay. How hard? I think threes are for. Threes are for threes are for tryhards. Threes are like, oh, look, I'm doing fucking man thigh shit. Sevens are for cat or sevens are for cowards. OK, um, if you want to be, I think that one inches, one inch inseam with like true running shorts. OK, like really short. I'm trying to like move. imagine a graph of like, you know, whatever acceptability on one axis and then inseam on another. And you're a little bit. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a sound wave. I was going to say, yeah, you're doing a little sound radio. And then nine inch. Um, I've always been, even last summer with uh, our legacy in EG shorts, I've always liked shorts that kind of like are at the knee, but I want to fucking go past the, I don't want to do Adam Sinner cosplay because I don't think he's a fucking style God. That, no matter. that whole thing is so crazy, blown out of proportion. Now, I understand um, Sandler in the 90s, skate shoes, jeans, kind of a cool polo on like a Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards red carpet. I get that. But current Sandler doing like what Liana wore in the zoo board, right? People yeah, were yeah, debating yeah. At the right, whether or not that was even a real fit or not. I <laughs> the, the, Sandler to me is like, okay, it's a vibe in the most general sense, but like you shouldn't want to dress like that whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, you, you, straight. Slop. Only one man can have all that inseam power. Wait, um, wait, so real quick, my capital jorts, which I still have to buy, but we just got a big payday, uh, which I, I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the trigger. That's an eight inch. I believe. What are your thoughts? That's acceptable then. I mean, I besides so. the I fact mean, of you hating jorts and me, <sighs> And capital. Well, I guess you don't. No, I don't. Capital. I don't hate capital. Um, eight. I don't hate. I don't. I'm not a fan of the capital. Like this is a capital piece. Like the fucking you know working in the country like a dog. Oh, puke, trucker all hats. day I puked on laundry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a great. Okay. Yeah. I mean that is pretty stupid, but I like the slogan. I was at the Capitol store and posted that, and people were like, "What is this?" And I was like, "It's capital." And then that this is like years ago, and then it became like a fucking whatever. If you know, you know, man. I was yeah. I was there until, until I was doing caviar. I was doing caviar snorts before the New York Times wrote about it. No, nobody, nobody cared who Capital was till Ian Connor ripped it off for sicko. <laughs> um, okay, so you, so I'm gonna hike those up, and they might hit because you know I'm a hiker, so maybe my jorts do hit seven. At which point I'm a capper. But we'll, well, it we'll depends see. on the length. These are these are like almost drop crotch, right? So the inseam isn't that the inseam technically isn't that long, but these are fucking past the knees. Yeah, they look anyway, good. That's a you. point. Yeah, Shout exactly. out for us designer. And I'm the world. they look good because again, once again, never wear a John in a vacuum. You got to consider the whole fit. I'm wearing a kind of boxy tee from our Lagache workshop. The hummus, the hummus colorway. Really? As your people, good, your people call it, say right? hummus. How do you say it? But, uh, well, uh, hummus. 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 <laughs> Is that that's what they say in Israel? Yeah. In Tel Aviv? They yeah. say hummus. Yeah. What's the difference between hummus? No, what's the difference and between hummus? Uh, <laughs> what's the difference between um, Chickpea and a garbanzo bean. Do you know the answer? Or are you asking me as like I know a, the answer. expert? What is the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? Um, I've never okay. had a, I've never had a garbanzo bean in my mouth. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I've heard you've definitely used that one before. That's a good one. You a piss guy? Am I a piss guy? Yeah. No. 
Like piss. Am I a piss baby? Pisser, pissy? No, I've never. Okay. You ever gotten pissed on? Bro, you were literally just. Oh, you pissed on a guy when you knocked him out. That is, again, that is a fallacy. I watched. It's a phallic. <laughs> it's a fallacy. Symbol. I watched. Well, first of all, let's take one step back. You were just talking my ear off in terms of constructive criticism that next week's pod, which we won't spoil yet because we're still in front of the paywall, I believe, you thought was a bit bro heavy when it came to the when it talked about uh, sex talk when it talked about old women you want to fuck yeah a little bit first of all old I'm just asking if you're famous a piss guy. women we want to fuck there is a difference I'm just asking if you're a piss guy um, I have never peed on someone or been peed on in term in, in a sexual nature okay in those terms what about you uh, no never in a sexual nature only in a jellyfish nature and to just clarify the peeing thing because I don't want people to think I, I did pee on someone I witnessed <laughs> a fight that was so brutal that was so one-sided that this guy my roommate my freshman year roommate is who we're talking about he beat the shit out of somebody i watched him then pee on that person as an emphatic kind wow. of end to that ass beating wow. yeah i mean and truly one of two exclamation the, points honestly yeah like the emoji truly one of the most preposterous things i ever witnessed Fire. he just literally whipped it out and pissed on him like a cameron lyric <laughs> 